surprised, would you? I can, I can understand, I can understand. <laughs> but I you were not surprised. Yeah, but Evans, let me begin first by uh, thanking God for, for, for this uh, beautiful victory and also thanking uh, uh, the wonderful delegates who reposed that trust in me and of course the teaming supporters of the party. Uh, for me, that was the most humbling, uh, humbling experience. Uh, asking them whether I'm surprised, to be honest with you, no, I'm not surprised. Okay. I'm not surprised at all. Uh, even the truth is that I don't, I don't undertake a journey uh, without having uh, taken a very deep introspection and weighing my, 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 my chances. Uh, even before I started this journey of running for the general secretary position, truth, I had already commissioned what I call a very scientific survey. So I had a clear idea of what my chances are even before beginning. So uh, one of the things I've said about politicians is I can understand why uh, some people can be so delusional as to, for example, undertake a journey without even knowing what their chances are. Okay. I can appreciate if you go in a fight and you lose very closely, but the situation where you actually invest everything you got, resources, energy, everything you got, and actually only to discover that you really had no chance at all. For me, it's an unforgivable sin, and politically, I never will be guilty of that. So there's no way I would have gone into this race except knowing that I had a very, very good chance of winning. So there was research that backed this. So you, the, the outcome of the research decided, convinced you to join? Yes. Race. Because, you know, even the truth is that um, I was competing with two people who, uh, I would say, clearly have had uh, almost four years to work in the system. Uh, the Deputy General Secretary in charge of operations, uh, Dr. Peter Otokuno, had been the, the in charge for four years and, of course, built relationships, worked with the party structures. Clearly, when you have a four-year relationship with any group of people, you naturally have a certain big advantage. I was, working, I was contending also with a visa free anchor, my own brother and friend, for a very long time, who was a director of election. Clearly built a lot of networks and relationships as well. So if I come in now, and of course I've been out of the party structure, I mean since 2009, when I became deputy minister for finance. So even though I was still a party person, you wouldn't call in directly in touch with, for example, regional, regional chairman, regional executives, constituency executives, branch executives. I was not directly doing that. Of course, I was still a party person. So if I'm going to go into a journey, I needed to first be sure what the chances are. And I did my, my uh, very quiet scientific survey, which proved to me that even without any campaigning, I had a fighting chance. But so that you made it, a very important a point there. Mm -hmm. let, let me just expand on. Yeah. Even without campaigning, yeah. you were convinced that. What was it that gave you that that confidence? Of course, the research told yeah. you you can do that. Yeah. But what was it that made a difference? I would say that 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 was the beginning of it. Because as I said, I always think that um, it's important not to simply believe your own hype. Uh, and I think that really has been the fatal flaw for not just many politicians, but many people in general. You need not to believe your own hype. So you need to have some evaluation in order to know exactly what are the chances. So I did that. And that told me that even though I had been not directly involved in what you call the party issues for quite a number of years now, even though I was still pretty much a, a party man and all, uh, my chances still were very good. Why? And I need why, why was that? I'm trying to narrow down okay. to the okay. to the elements, right. the characteristics okay. that would okay. still give you an advantage, although right. you've not been right. at the I, center of things yeah, for a while. I, th I think it's, I think it boils down to what I would call track record. Okay. Track record. I think a lot of people uh, still pretty much remember setting a record straight. Basically, they feel this is somebody who had paid a price for this party, mm. uh, who not only helped to secure power, uh, the last time we took MPP out of power, also felt that this was somebody who went through the most grueling vetting in the history of our party, simply because of the job I had done for the party in terms of winning that, that, that victory. Uh, I think they also feel that they have an individual who uh, is difficult to compromise. And I think this party wanted uh, somebody like that, uh, uh, somebody that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, that you can go and sleep, clearly this, this person clearly cannot be compromised. This is somebody who will fight for this party and if need be, die for this party. So I think these are already attributes that people were looking for. 
but of course, if you are fighting, you definitely also have to weigh some of the, 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 the issues, some of the disadvantages that I was coming with. And one of them, of course, is the fact that uh, I was not in the field for quite a bit and I was dealing with opponent. And also, the, a certain disadvantage also, because I was uh, taking over from um, Johnson Asiedu Nketiah, who after 17 years had really turned this into an institution. Yeah. And somewhere, somewhere over the 17 years, um, there's a certain unspoken belief that you needed, for example, to be extremely fluent in Chui before you can become a general secretary. You didn't have that, did you? Which never had been the case in the NDC in particular, which was quite, for me, it was like, a, what, I mean, what is going on? Because NDC has had three general secretaries before I see in uh, Alaji Hudu Yaya, who actually never spoke any Chui at all, in Dr. Jose Aye, who never spoke any Chui at all, and Bin Zidin, who acted as general secretary until we went to Congress in, 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 in 2005, who never spoke any Chui at all. So, I couldn't understand how suddenly it has now become a norm that you needed to speak Chui before you become general secretary. So clearly my opponents were using that law. Oh, the guy doesn't speak any Chui. In fact, the media, the guy doesn't speak any local language. Which I find funny. Because, ah, what do you mean? I speak actually my, my local language. I speak very, very well. He said, no, 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 no. It's not good enough. You have to speak Chui. Anyway, long and short. Your, your English is too slow and they couldn't imagine you speaking I know, right? local I know, language. Right? I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? So that clearly was one uh, Herculean obstacle that we needed to to, to, to deal with. So we, we use the opportunity to be able to, first of all, try to disabuse the minds of people. Uh, that even MPP, that is known to be an Akan party, has had a brilliant chairman, uh, who was Jacob Echibilante, who is yeah. a gunman, who incidentally does not speak gun at all, and also never spoke to but he was still a great chairman even for MPP. So a party like NDC, that is much more known to multicultural, bringing together everybody. You can actually be making a case that the only way you can become a general secretary is to speak one particular language. So we try to disabuse the minds of people and say, I was communication, I was in charge of communication for the NDC. I spoke English for the most part, and we still want power. So for you to say that now a general secretary, when I'm not in charge of communication, I need to speak three before I can become a general secretary, I think was not, was not a very good thing my opponents were standing on. So I think we were able to work on that.